Well, hello, farming friends, and welcome back once again to more Farming Simulator 2015 with me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose. Well, I want to do a quick video today on a mod that I picked up this week, uh, something I didn't think I was going to utilize in the game. Uh, I happened to come across it when I was doing a map uh, or checking out a map, and uh, it was a required mod for it. And after using it just a little bit this week, I've decided it's something I'm going to keep in the gameplay. You'll see me using uh, throughout the videos. and So I thought I'd run through it real quick, just do a real quick spotlight on it. It's nothing new, but it's something that you may not have seen or if you did see you might have thought the same as I did well, I'm never going to need that mod I'm not going to use it at all well after playing with it I realize it's pretty useful and I like it a lot uh, it's called VGPDA just VGPDA and uh, that's it right there it's real simple it's just a little screen that pops up looks like a cell phone and uh, it gives me basically all of the in-game information right there in a small window on screen so why do I like this it's the same information basically that's here inside the menu or is it it's a, a little bit different and um, but at the same time uh, it, it's right there in a convenient little screen on my gameplay uh, the other thing is, is, as you notice, I'm moving around and I've got access to the information in game. That's the biggest reason I like this is because while I'm transitioning from point A to point B, I can look up and see what kind of inventories I have or I can thumb through the information that's within the city within uh, the in-game profile or in-game information system and I don't have to stop the gameplay you, you might think that's not a big deal but it adds up after a while a couple of minutes here a couple of minutes there and you've got gameplay that's being wasted because you're reading some information off of a page and thumbing through to see well what's the productivity of my cattle how do I need to give them some wheat do I need water do I need to do this and that how much wheat do I have if, I, if I'm headed from a, a field of uh, the farm to a field to go seed right and I'm driving my tractor and I'm thinking, well, what do I want to see? Do I want to do canola? Do I want to do barley? How much do I have in my inventory? I've got to pop open this screen, which stops everything, including hired help or anything else like that. It stops it while I check out what's in here and what the current prices are. I don't have to do that anymore. I just bring up the PDA. I look at it real quick. I see, you know, wheat how much I've got if I want to see what the prices are I go to the next screen and I check out the prices for commodities and it shows me each one of them so very nice very handy to have so that right there sold me on it there's some other functionality built into it as well that I like a lot um, the simple fact that if I go back to my storage I can see how much grass I have in storage with this. If you see chaff, straw, grass, hay, well, you know, on this particular map, we're on North Brabant. Back here in the back corner of the facility, I've got dry grass storage back there, uh, the mixing stations back there, and so you've got the, all that stored. I don't have to run back there and look at my my supplies to see how much is on there on my back on my big country I don't even have digital readouts on the walls I just have the the grasses stored there in storage and it doesn't actually tell me how much I have well right now I have a readout that tells me exactly how much grass and straw I have back in storage so that's very handy very nice mod to have um, so it's it was definitely right there. That's another selling point for me. Uh, the next selling point for me, and I'll thumb over to the uh, or scroll over to the animals section. We're looking at the dairy cow section now. Let's bring up the in-game dairy cow information. And uh, here on our cows, it shows me how many cows I have, and it doesn't. Sh it just shows me how much manure feeding rations it shows me I have 4081 rations uh, there nothing else nothing else informative here other than just some numbers 
I don't know what that is percentage wise or anything else like that. And is is four thousand a good number? Am I low? Is that high? I don't know. If I go into the PDA, you'll notice first off on mixed reactions, it's in the red. It's telling me I'm getting low. Probably ought to go get some more and put in the trough for the for my ladies. But um over to the side of it, you'll see 39,600. That's the total amount I can put in there right now for the number of cattle that I have. That's helpful information to have. So especially when you're running beef and pigs and your beef's on the other side of the, of the map and you want to go, okay, well, I need 39,000 lead. I, you know, I've got 4,000 in there. I can put 39,000 in. I'm just going to get 34, 35,000 liters and haul it over there. Um, you know, it, it, it's a little more information that helps you be a little more efficient, a little more productive. So I, I do like that a lot. So, um, again, it's not a mod that's brand new. It's been around for a couple of months. I've seen it for a while and, you know, like I said, I was skeptical. I had a conversation with a friend of mine who was looking for the link to it. And I was like, eh, I don't need that. I've got all the information I need in the game, you know. And here I am now going, man, I, I like this. I'm going to keep it in my game. So, you know, you might be like me and you might want to give it a try because it's pretty cool. Um, there are two mods that you're going to need. The first is the VGA PDA, or excuse me, VG PDA. And the second is the VG Swine Mast uh, mod, which is basically that's just the fattening animals section of it. And so if I scroll in, you'll see fattening installation page. Now it doesn't have as much information on there. I wish they would go back and tweak that to give you the same amount of information that you have for the cows. Hopefully that's being worked on. Um, but it does give you the pigs on one page. The next page gives me beef. And the next page gives me uh, my fat and chickens. And look there, we have 10 chickens about ready to be slaughtered. So um, a lot of information right there on screen for me in a nice little window. And the other thing I like about it is I'm scrolling through. When I get to the end, it just keeps on going. It just reverts back to the beginning. I don't have to go back and forwards, you know, like you, uh, excuse me, that's not part of it. Um, it's, it doesn't do, you know, I don't have to go to the end and then back, back all the, all the way to get to the beginning of it. So I like that a lot. The, um, so the screens that you get in it, uh, we'll start back at the beginning. First, you get an enlarged mini map, which I think is kind of nice. Uh, you know, uh, if I'm looking at the game, I don't know why my mini map is gone on here all of a sudden. Uh, it should be up, but it's not. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I don't know where my map went, but if I bring that up, I've got the mini map there. Um, just gives me an enlarged view of my mini map. Gives me a little more detail I can look at. Uh, the next page is going to give me the weather for the day and any kind of news announcements. Uh, then I go into storage. Uh, in the game, storage and commodities prices is one screen. On this one, storage is just uh, right there for you. And then you can page down if there's any additional information. You can page down to it. There's not any on this. Um, then I have my prices for commodities. Now up in the help bar, you'll see the controls. The brackets on your keyboard, those are what lets you scroll screen to screen to go to storage now to price commodities they show you each screen now within the screen uh, like under price commodities if i want to scroll left to right to see all the different sell points i use the plus and the minus key or excuse me the minus equals or you know it's the underscore plus key on your keyboard so that's going to scroll through my sell points only have a couple on this map, so it doesn't really do much to show you anything. But you'll see that that's the left and right on it. Now, if I needed to go up and down, I hit the 9 key. The 9 key gives me what's down low. So, as you can see, now I'm showing the beef 
and I'm able to to go through that as well okay so those are your controls they're pretty basic um, and and they give that to you right there at your fingertips so I've got prices and commodities uh, the next is my finances are on here uh, then I have my animals HUD animals are the stock animals so your chickens dairy and sheep and again I use the the minus and the equals key to, uh, to scroll through each of the three pages uh, then I'll keep on going using my in bracket statistics and then I'm on the fattening page once I'm on the fattening page I use my minus equals to scroll through my three fattening mods that I have installed now it only pulls up the mods that you have on a particular map so and, and it only will pull up the fruits that you're using on a particular map which is kinda nice uh, seeing as you know I have a lot of mods if I go into the in-game inventory and I go over to uh, my uh, storage if you notice all the mod different fruits and stuff that I have available within the game are showing up on here and uh, it weeds all that out for me as well so I don't have to worry about that so uh, again it's a pretty nice little mod you'll find it on mod hosters as well as FSUK and um, I'll put the links to both of the files that you need down in the show notes so if you want to download it you can uh, again pretty nice little app um, you know again it gives you your inventory without shutting the game down and that's the biggest thing that I like about it so maybe it's something you want to use in your gameplay if you do uh, follow the links download it real easy installation you just drop the drop the files into your mod folder and launch the game I will bring up the uh, the, the PDA on screen uh, which used to bring up your um, in-game inventory system if you still want to bring up the in-game inventory system which is this uh, you just use shift I so I opens the PDA shift I opens up the in-game okay pretty simple pretty straightforward download the file drop it in your mods folder and you're good to go that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it maybe this is something you want to add into your gameplay until next time guys as always stay safe have yourself a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow with another Farming Simulator 2015 video with me, Mr. Moose. Bye-bye, guys. Hey, thanks again for watching this video, and if you made it all the way to the end, well, maybe you liked it. So give me a big old thumbs up. That like goes a long way. Also, subscribe to this channel. I will update the videos every single day, so there will always be something new for you to see. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll come back again tomorrow. Thanks for your support.